Well, the last time the Steelers and Buccaneers met, Ryan Fitzpatrick was Tampa Bay's quarterback, and Vance McDonald became known as the Vanimal thanks to a pretty sick stiff arm. Well, the rosters are going to look completely different tomorrow, so let's check in one final time with Bob and Coach to get your keys to the game presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Guys. All right, Missy, e, thank you very much. Tampa comes to town, a very good football team coming off a win over Atlanta. Coach Tomlin, let's talk about, first of all, attacking their defense. We talked about Winfield, but they have other guys, uh, some linebackers who are making plays. What do you have to do to be successful down the field against that team? You got to mix it up. Uh, you can't have a static launch point. Uh, you, excuse me, you got to mix the run and the pass. Um, you can't be one-dimensional in any way. Uh, as you mentioned, they got quality players at all levels. Uh, we didn't talk about Shaq as an edge rusher. We didn't talk about Vita Vey as an interior guy. We didn't talk about Devin White or, or Levante David. I mean, they've got quality players um, and they're playmakers. Um, we can't be static. We can't be predictable. Um, we got to do the things that, that we believe in and, and equally as important, um, we got to do them well. We got to lean on our strengths schematically. We got to lean on our strengths from a personnel standpoint. The focus is us this week. We respect what they're capable of and the people that we mentioned, but when you're coming off the type of performance that we're coming off of, you look nowhere other than within and, and, and talk about what you do well and who does what well and let that be the catalyst for planning, and that's the way we've approached it this week. Offensively, your team has struggled in the first quarter game specifically, not getting a uh, touchdown in 14 quarters. Um, do you do anything dramatic in that regard with regard to prepping for the first quarter of a game in terms of, you know, scheming your, your plays, whatever the case may be? Obviously, we're, we're open to the schematics of it, but I thought schematically we had a good opening drive a week ago. We just stalled at the end and had to, you know, uh, settle for a field goal attempt. And, and, and so uh, we'll continue to work in that, in that vein, understanding that we need to be better. And uh, those will be our intentions as we prepare and ultimately play. Yeah, one of the things about Tampa, too, is their uh, ability to be very good in situational football, led by Tom Brady. Vice versa, you guys haven't done that as well. What do you have to do in that regard, and do you change anything within the red zone? You know, that's one of the reasons why you're 1-4, and four, to be quite honest with you. Those plays that are weighted differently, we hadn't won enough of them. Uh, it's not because of, because of lack of attention in prep or, or time allocation. Uh, we just got to put together better plans, and we got to play better. And uh, we understand that. Um, what we're not going to do is try to invent something that hadn't been done before. Um, you have a, a, a tendency to turn bad to worse there. Um, we got to stay grounded, uh, tune out the noise, and focus on us and the things that we do well. Coach, best of luck this week. Look forward to it. Thank you.